It's what we're trying to do with country members. Empower them, rally them, unite them. More. Punch them. <laughs> Welcome to New York. Congrats on being a finalist. I'm very, very excited. Thank you so much. It's great to be in New York. So cool to be here. It's a wonderful opportunity to get our message out. I'm Luke, I'm a chemist. What is your company? NFW, natural fiber welding. So we're working on plastic free materials so that you can have your shoes, your clothes, your cars completely oil free and plastic free and safe. Show us all the plastic free things. I've got this wallet, all natural, plastic free. They don't have oil, they don't have petrochemicals. At the end of the life of these materials, you can give them right back to nature. Boom, can I feel it? Yes. <gasps> so soft. Wait, so soft. Explain exactly what's in here. Lignocellulose, veggie oil, citric acid. So so things like cork, regenerative rubber, where the farmers get to have more money to turn their plantations back into a biodiverse forest. We oh. love regeneration, yes. yes. Getting our material society back in nature slipstream. Which shouldn't be so radical. We're building a waste-free world. Congratulations on being a finalist, Luke. I cannot wait to wear those shoes. Three, two, one. It's a compound word. One of your parents is a... Scientist. Uh, yeah, but, but what kind? Uh, neuro, uh, science, uh, so bio, biology. Okay, so that's the first part. Bio. Yep, and the second part is we make... Materials. Biomaterials! Uh, <laughs> Biomaterials! If you didn't know that about my mom, I'm wondering how I would've got that. Rita, tell me about your solution. Bringing together over 120 countries, pushing for the protection of at least 30% of our planet's land and ocean by 2030. And it's called... The High Ambition Coalition for Nature and People. What? Say that again. The High Ambition Coalition for Nature and People. It's quite a mouthful. Or short for HAC? Yes, you can say Hack for Nature and People. Oh, I get it. Like when you hack? Yeah, more or less. Na, na, na. How many countries you said? 120. 120! How long did it take you to get 120 on board? We started back in 2019. Only five years and already at 120 countries. Imagine the next five years. Three, two, one. It's what we're trying to do with country members. Empower them, rally them, unite them. More. Punch them. <laughs> Just kidding. More action. The exactly, action. The First word is action. It's the members of the coalition. Who are they? The 120 countries. Each country has a, a representative, a government. Yes. And we're trying to do government action. Yes. Woo! Government action is a tough one. It's a tough one. Miyagi on three. One, two, three. Miyagi! Introduce yourself, please. Douglas Martin, the CEO and founder of Myalgi. How are you reviving our ocean? We stop mincing up billions of fish out of the sea, and we produce omega-3s, which is why you use fish oil. So fish inherently doesn't have omega-3. They get it from the algae. So instead of going to the fish, you go straight to the source. Cut out the middle fish. Cut out the middle fish. I love that one. OK, so you go directly to the source, and what are they being fed with? So we feed them the byproducts of the whiskey industry, which would otherwise be wasted. So we're able to produce clean water and omega-3s. So you take take waste from a whiskey distillery, you feed the algae with this water, you grow it, and then you're, we're able to distill omega-3s in it and get the supplements and vitamins that we need. That's exactly it. Heads up, earth up, three, two, one. It's the stuff we need fish oil for. Algae, no, uh, omega-3. That's it. Ding, ding, ding. My name's Dr. Kat Bruce. I'm the founder of Nature Metrics. We're a nature technology company. We specialize in making it possible to measure the full complexity of biodiversity. And how do you do this? We use this amazing thing called environmental DNA or eDNA which is basically using the tiny traces of DNA that you wouldn't know it but they're floating all around us now in the air. This is all eDNA right here. We are able to isolate those tiny fragments of DNA from the water, from the soil and from the air and then we use that to describe the whole community of biodiversity. Wow so we cannot properly protect and restore nature if we don't have the right data on it and this is what eDNA is trying to do. Nature can be our secret weapon in addressing interlinked global crises that we face. How can you protect something that you haven't even quantified? Three, two, one. It's the solution that Nature Metrics works with, with tiny traces that animals give off. Environmental DNA! Ding, ding, ding! What does ATS stand for? Advanced Thermovoltaic Systems. What we're doing is developing the next generation in heat to power. This is a core component of that solution. It can make electricity with no moving parts in a very simple platform. What do you call this solution? A solid state heat to power solution. So now you don't have to have this large reciprocating equipment creating electricity, you can use these modules. Wait, that's amazing. That means your heat system can also be smaller? It can be smaller, it's less technically complex, more dependable. Get an icy hot pack that makes electricity. The icy hot pack of energy generation. energy generation. Coming to a store near you. Coming to an industry near you. Oh, boo. Three, two, one, Kelly, go. What industry doesn't 
process very well. Waste. Temperatures are? Temperatures are? Waste. Oxygen waste. Cold. Heat. Hot. Waste heat. You got waste it. heat. Ding, ding, ding. I want to know what makes you optimistic about fixing our climate. When you see the opportunities and the challenges and how creative we are as a society and the solutions we're bringing to the table is the possibilities. Nature has this amazing ability to bounce back. That gives me great optimism that actually we can turn things around. I think the amount of enthusiasm and amount of hope that's coming through from the solutions that we're seeing, there's so much emphasis on making the world a better place. I feel very hopeful when I see many stakeholders like indigenous people, local communities, youth and everyone coming together for this specific goals. There's these hopeful solutions and it's not just us, there's 14 other amazing finalists that are bringing their ideas to the world that change the world for good. These solutions are happening on the ground. On the ground today, right now. We can do it. Let's go.